Hi and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Nico and I live up in the mountains of Wyoming. I am uh, just now returning back to nursing as a full-time nurse and then I am full-time eBay. So I consider myself full-time. Uh, I try not to put in full-time hours lately, it kind of has been, <laughs> but um, it's because if I needed to or if I want to, I can survive and live and pay my bills off of my eBay business. Um, however, I am improving my, my workflows and my uh, ability to get more done. I'm delegating more. And so now I'm able to uh, also have that income of my nursing career. So now my goals have just changed a little bit to be able to maintain my business at its current level. It may fluctuate a little bit here and there. Um, but uh, I want to maintain it at my current level and not be working like 95 hours a week. Any of us can have a nursing career and an eBay business if we're just like working, 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 working all the time. I still want some time off. I still want to enjoy my life. So we'll just see how it goes. I've done it before and I don't remember being stressed with trying to get my eBay stuff done. I think it just took another level of organization and... Um, there's a lot of reasons I took the hiatus. Um, it was a lot. I was moving my mom. Her husband passed away, and I needed to relocate her from Texas. At the time, both of my brothers were both living overseas, and it was kind of us. And I didn't quit my job right then. I had already taken a little break after COVID. It was just a lot. And then I had life happen to me, and so I took a little break also because of that. And... Um, then I just kept wanting to go back, but things like my mom's husband passing away and moving her, and pretty soon you wake up and it's been like two years, you know, and I survived just fine on our eBay income during that time, and it was great, but um, we are trying to have a decent savings for retirement. Um, the issue that I find is that the amount of money on eBay you need to make to You've got to pay yourself, you know, not just your mileage, you have to pay yourself, but then, you know, Social Security is an issue. My Social Security, um, I want that to be higher. I don't really plan on, even if it's there, you know, I'm 54 or I will be 54 this year. Uh, I don't know how much Social Security is going to be there, but if it is, I want it to be a lot more than mine shows because mine shows kind of low because I have had a very intermittent nursing career. I took off when my son was sick and different things. And um, so I have a, uh, a lot of eBay experience and history, and that's how I've basically paid my bills for 20-some years. But um, I uh, really feel like there's a great need for nurses right now, and I really love it. I'm able to do it. I'm blessed to have the skills to do it. And uh, I'm just going to be working three days a week. There'll be long days, but, you know, you can get a whole full-time income in three days plus all my eBay money. So it's going to be great. It'll help us get where we're going for retirement and looking ahead um, and all of that. And then if I just change my mind, if I'm like, oh, my goodness, this was a mistake, then I will be very kind, give them lots and lots of notice, but I would just bow out gracefully. But I don't think that's going to happen. I'm really optimistic. I'm already looking at, you know, what do I take to lunch? How do I streamline this? What are the groceries my husband can go get? Because he's going to take a lot of the brunt of the business. He thinks it's a great idea too, um, but he's going to be doing little tasks here and there so that I can even fit that into my life. And so like now he pulled all these eBay orders. It's probably a 10, 15 minute thing, but then I could be upstairs eating breakfast, getting ready, you know, doing a couple dishes. And then he came down here and did some things. So right now we're working together on it and it seems to be working. We'll see. All right, guys. So for today, um, I have nine orders going out. Um, this is since yesterday at, let's see. Um, we had a lot of orders Thursday. Then I got a lot of listing done Thursday night, but we didn't have a lot of orders by Friday morning. So I think we only had a couple more yesterday morning, excuse me, that my husband shipped with me. And so this is like about almost 24 hours. We only have nine orders. That's okay. But, and I'll talk a little bit more about why my sales are slow right now. It's not because of eBay or because of the summer slowdown. It's because I've been doing so much consignment work and I've been getting all my inventory free, and I've been just not paying anything for inventory. I've been going and buying it, selling it at consignment stores, getting my money right back within about an hour. Um, but I'm just now getting it listed. I'm buying it, buying it, buying it, and I was taking all these trips, and my dad had a free place to stay and all this stuff. 
So now if I had that mountain behind me typed in, which I think I will by Thursday or Friday, um, I have a lot of other stuff to do, but uh, that's where all the money's at. That's where, you know, all the the purpose of doing this is at. It's not only getting my inventory for free, but it's actually getting it typed in so that you get the sales off of it. So it's going well. I'll talk about that. Um, I have a mini haul for you today. It'll be a real short one because I'm being super duper picky, but I found some good stuff at garage sales yesterday. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. Nine orders, $239.46. So where I live, I have one hour on Saturday mornings to get myself to the post office. So, um, and then it closes. So this is my only chance. So we better get moving. All right, I have a pair of IZOD pants. These are number 3,431. Um, I'm on the 5600s now. And uh, uh, so this is a clearance item. I would never pick up, I can't think of one thing that I would pick up in IZOD now at all. I just, even new with tags, it doesn't move for me. Um, even bigger sizes. I just can't get it to move. So I don't even think about IZOD as a brand. Maybe there's some research I need to do and maybe there are a couple of um, performance lines or something they have that might move. But I'm aiming for 100% sell through and this is certainly not it. So um, I am very happy with my sale. My sale is 40% uh, off on this really old stuff that I've had a year or two. It actually seems to be working. And so that will save me the time of going to hand edit all of this um, and they used a coupon on top of this of 26% off which actually I'm fine um, they're taking it off my hands so four dollars and eleven cents plus shipping so thirteen dollars and fifteen cents all in which is still a lot to me for a customer to pay for IZOD pants I still oops, I'm like why isn't that sticky don't do it Tate then don't don't mess me up here Tate then <laughs> So yeah, today I'm going to put a lot of time into finishing up my consignment client stuff. I've got amazing stuff for her that needs to go on auction starting on Sunday night. So um, that's going to be my focus for today. Uh, my virtual assistant does have... Oh, sorry guys, this tape is just crazy. I just have one little line of it that is not working. My virtual assistant does have about 25 items done for me. So I'm going to launch those. So I will have 25 clothing items going up today and tomorrow. Oh, goodness, guys, this is a mess. Sorry, it's not a mess except that I'm on the video trying to, like, make the video interesting here. All right. There we go. So, um, yeah, so I will have 25 items going up um, from my virtual assistant in the next two days, which is good, and they're good items. Sorry, almost there, guys. Almost there, I think. <laughs> Did not know I had this issue. Okay. All right. We got it. We got it. Got it. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to use eBay tape. It's a lot cuter. Has anyone heard what's going to happen tomorrow on the 9th when, um, you know, the, the Postal Service changes? And I have a lot of things that say first class. Now, I don't have calculated shipping. I have flat rate shipping, but I always just kind of advertise it as first class. So are they going to end my listings or what? I just haven't had time to to listen to what everybody's saying on the on the board. So I guess in the morning I'll wake up and find out or on Monday. Um, I don't care if the name changes or anything like that. I just, um, sorry guys, I just, um, this tape gun, I don't know why it doesn't stay stuck, you know, where it's supposed to. Uh, anyway, I probably don't need much more tape. We'll just use eBay tape, I think, for most of what I need. So anyway, $13.15 all in by the customer. One pound, 3.3 ounces. This is going to Elkton, Virginia. I charged $9.95 and it's going to cost $8.30. So yeah, has anyone else heard uh, what the deal is on that? Um, <clears throat> hopefully eBay just kind of automatically since I have flat rate shipping, just leaves my price and isn't concerned about what I advertised as the method of shipping. But I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. So I am prepared. 
because I, you know, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'll, I need to get on there and read. But I'm prepared if on Monday or Tuesday I have to just like go into my entire store and just spend two or three or four days. My store needs edited anyway, so it would be a blessing, honestly, if I really was forced to do it. Um, I would like to do it slower, I guess, but if I'm forced to do it, that's actually fine with me. I just need to get a lot of this stuff edited anyway. So, plus, what can you do? I'm not going to freak out about it. I'll just do what i got to do. All right, this is a good sale. This is a current sale. Um, this is a chalet at CC Blouse. I, excuse me, guys. I'm sorry I didn't show you the IZOD pants. I guess I should have, but I think you've seen a pair of IZOD pants before. This brand is called Chalet at CC. I guess is how you say it. I do not know French, and I've never taken French. Um, it's I have um, that it's a chalet a cissé blouse women's large crinkle sleeveless pockets new tags and stretch so it's got that really cool crinkle fabric so I started this I think at about thirty five to forty um, I've had this since let's see how long I've had this thing Doo -doo -doo. since May 29th so we're on July eighth so you know six weeks whatever that is I do the math in my head um. So anyway, I went ahead and took an offer of $25 plus shipping. So $33.87 um, sold via promoted listings. This is a bins pickup. And um, I'm just glad that uh, it's still over my $25 goal. That is my goal. That's my goal. Okay, 10 ounces. I let myself run out of poly, poly mailers, not poly bags. I have... 5,000 poly bags. Uh, my dad gave me a bunch of poly bags after he quit Amazon. But uh, um, anyway, I'm out of poly mailer, so I ordered a bunch, and I hope they come soon. Um, this is going to Suwanee, Georgia. I charged $6.95, and it's going first class today. Um, this service is replaced by Ground Advantage. Actually, let me click on that and see if eBay says what they're going to do. Um, do, do, do. I think that just takes me... No, USPS, and let's see. Let me see if this says, because it would help everybody, right? Um, okay, do I need to update the shipping service? Listings with the following USPS services will need to be updated to select USPS Ground Advantage, First Class Package Service, Retail Ground. So... No, USPS will continue to support first class mail as a standalone service. So that's good, I think. First class mail service is not included in USPS Ground Advantage, and this says USPS will continue to support first class as a standalone service. So maybe all my first class ones, anyway, don't need upgraded. So what are they saying needs upgraded? Um, what services will need to be updated? Any listing with one or more of the following services from July 9th. First class and retail ground. See, so it does say I do. That's confusing to me. Um, and I don't know how to update them today. Like, I would start today, but you can't because first, I don't think. I think first class is still your only choice. Anyway, guys, because, um, yeah, right here when I'm looking... USPS is a choice, and then let me go look and see if Ground Advantage is even a choice right now. It should be because, um, I guess, let's see, Parcel Select will be, yeah, it's not a choice right now, so honestly, I just can't do anything today. Uh, I really should have paid more attention to the chat boards to see what other people are doing. But anyway, this is today going for first class, so today they still support it. Um, $6.95, and it's going to cost $504. I'm not going to fret it. I'll wake up tomorrow and see if they end those listings or what eBay does. If so, I will. I'm type A, so I'm going to do it with the boxes in front of me. I don't just go to ended listings and just click and do it. I'll grab every box one at a time, and it'll probably take me three days, but I would just make a decision about every item, upgrade it, change something about the title, just make it a blessing, upgrade my listings, and then I'd have really, really slow sales for probably three days because I wouldn't have that much listed, but then I would have amazing sales after as I got it done, you know? So that's my plan. Won't be fun. All right, this is an Eileen Fisher blouse. 
Uh, this is a newer one. This is 5542, and we're on the 5600s. I've had this one, what, a week or two, I think? July 3rd, today's uh, July 8th, so yeah, a week, five days. Um, sold right away. Um, I have that it's a medium gray silk sleeveless tunic top blouse and a neutral. And so it's just kind of a kind of a silk Eileen Fisher tunic or you know a shell. So I took 20 for it plus shipping, so 2909 in five days. That's what I'm talking about right there. If I could just keep doing that. <laughs> That's the goal. Cause I got this out of the bins, you know, what a dollar at, at the very most. Okay, five ounces. The stuff that the consignment stores are buying for me by buying a little bit of what I find, and then the one gal is buying, because I'm selling stuff to her, she's buying stuff for me. This is the kind of quality of stuff they're buying for me, so I'm very happy. This is going to Centennial, Colorado, just up the road from me. I go through there all the time. Um, $6.99, and it's going to cost four oh nine. dollars so I'm keeping some of the money some of the money yeah I'm glad I didn't just because I have those 500 stagnant items that I've been wanting to get my hands on and I've talked about it I'm really really glad I didn't just get those all perfected and put hours and hours and hours into it and then find out that now this shipping service is uh, changing <laughs> um, my son thought that he read somewhere that eBay was going to give us a certain amount of time to change our listings. I mean, obviously, you won't be able to ship something out first class, but um, he thought he read that they weren't going to just power end all of your listings, but I don't know about that. I'm not sure. All right, this. What is this thing? Okay, this is um, one of the Anesco homegrown figures. Let me see. I think I've already got him wrapped. Yeah, he's already wrapped, and so I won't take him out of the bubble wrap. So what these are, if you ever see the bottom of them, they're an Inesco homegrown figure, and they are a cucumber alligator. So they are anthropomorphic figures. So like if it's an alligator, it also looks, at the same time it looks like an alligator, it also looks like a cucumber. And they have all these ones. They have a banana, they have a green onion, they have all these cute ones. If you ever see them... Um, especially if you just want to put them all in one group, you would get a lot of money. But uh, we tried to piece them out. I'm not saying that wasn't a good idea, but they have certain ones have taken a while to sell. So this one sold for twenty dollars plus shipping, so thirty one twelve. They did not use any promotions, and my son paid around twenty dollars for like ten or twelve of these figures. And we've already sold three or four of them, made our money back on the first one. Um, so it's great. We're holding out on some of the rarer ones that should go for like 70 or 100. Um, there's one, the is it the banana one, is one of the more rare ones. And it goes for around 100 if you're willing to wait. So we're, you know, we're trying to hold in there on some of the better stuff that we have. Okay. All right, 14 ounces, and I have, I'm going to put in 15 ounces. This is going to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, I charged $9.50, and it's going to cost $7.87. Let's see how much priority is, because priority is $7.96. So let's just do good by our customer and do priority. Yeah, so today I've got to go pick up the paperwork for my nursing job, fill that out. Um, I don't have to have it back till Monday technically, but just start doing that. Um, then I'm going to do the video with you guys, show you what I bought at garage sales. Uh, then I'm going to launch the um, 25 items my VA has done. Then I'm going to photo another 25 to 50 for him so that in the next few days I keep my clothing going because that's my core business, right? And then I'm going to work on a couple of boxes that my consignment customer has given me. Um, she is not in a super duper hurry. On the other hand, I don't want to have um, you know her stuff in my house for five years. I want to get her the money and and you know get get my cash too, get the part of my money I make. And uh, 
you know, and there's still so much jewelry for me to work on. So I'm really going to try to just have the minimum of clothing going up this week and really hit it hard on the, um, on her stuff because uh, it'll just make me feel better like I'm doing right by her because I am making money off of the stuff she sells and she has high-end stuff. So um, this is a Ninja Turtle classic. It's a Raphael... Playmates. My son either found this at a garage sale or whatever, but it had this on it. It had damage to it, so he won't sell things like that on Amazon because, you know, he just feels like that they aren't really new, and that's what Amazon says. That's really, if you're that close to the thing, that's actually what Amazon feels, too. So, um, and we always ship these figures in a box. Some people put them in a poly bag and collectors care about their boxes now this might be for some kid and he's going to rip into it the second he gets it and he doesn't care but this is a toy from 2012 so chances are this is not just for a kid um so anyway i have this boxed um it's going to uh let's see they paid 14.50 plus shipping so 26.50 it sold via promoted listings and let's see what it is i'm going to grab a piece of bubble wrap and uh, put some bubble wrap in here This might be, this is some that my dad gave me. Uh, it is sectioned. I'm like, is it not sectioned? So you can uh, <laughs> pull it apart. Let's just put a little bit more bubble wrap in there. All right, this is going to Washington, D.C. Uh, I charged $10.50. It's going to cost $10.21 by Parcel Select. I bet priority is a lot more. Priority is $11.62, so I'm just going to keep it at Parcel Select. If it were an expensive item and I wanted the free insurance, I would. But this is fine. This is just fine. Okay. Let me make sure my weight is correct. Yes, it is. All right, Parcel Select. Oh, sorry guys, I gotta sneeze. Oh, I've been around so many garage sales and bins clothing and everything this week. Hold on, I can feel it coming maybe. <laughs> Excuse me guys. Oh, I just looked outside and realized I left my cart on the front lawn. I unloaded my whole car and my husband was helping me too, so I'll blame him, right? Um, and we unloaded... I, just, I didn't have that much to unload, just my, my little bit of suitcase personal stuff, my computer, you know, and then I had like one or two little bags of garage sale stuff. And so I have my little cart that I use at the bins and I laid it on the grass to unload and there it is. Um, you know, we're in Wyoming in a very small town and we have a pretty big yard, so no one took off with it, thankfully, but not a very smart idea still. I'll, uh, I'll go get that when I get outside. I was just standing here and I'm like, what is that? Because I don't have a stroller uh, in the middle of my lawn. Very careless. Very, very careless. In, a, in some other place, and even here, if I left that out there too long, it's not like people here don't take stuff too. But, you know, that was not smart. Anyway, Foot Joy. These camouflaged Foot Joys are a bolo. So, Foot Joy in general, sometimes it's stagnant for me. I know that a lot of people pick it up immediately. And, but I was just struggling to always get, you know, more than 15 bucks on some foot joy. Um, but I need to research that. That's a video that I want to make. I promise all these videos and they never get done, but I will because I need them. So it's not just about you. Um, but I will tell you that these camouflage ones, see, this is a very subtle pink, but it is camo. And if I wanted to hold this, I could have gotten about $45 because that's what I started this at because that's what the comps were at. I went ahead and took $34.99 because I've only had this listed for, what, five, six days? I listed this on July 6th, and this is July 8th, so two days ago. Um, and so, yeah, it sold for $44.43 altogether. So if you see camo anything in Foot Joy, look it up and see if it's worth it, guys. I bet it is. Okay, this is eight ounces. First class, uh, it's going to cost $4.24. It's going to Carmel, Indiana. And I um, 
charged $6.99 for this. So on those two things, I will split those with my son, the little cucumber alligator and then the turtle saying, and he edited a ton of stuff. While we were driving to garage sales an hour away, he took my phone and he edited all of his stuff. Um, he really likes to get his cash flow back too, and if something hasn't moved for a couple months, he's figuring out why or editing it. And so that's why we're selling a lot of his stuff today is because he has his editing done. I don't have my editing done like I need to. Ooh, not good. I will get it done. I think eBay is going to force me to get it done, so that's fine. All right, this is another thing of his. Actually, I think four of my sales today are his. This is a Spartus cloth, and I have it all um, packed in there, so I can't show you. It's a backward-running pocket watch. It looks like a pocket watch, but it mounts on the wall, and this is kind of a mid-century modern type thing. Um, I, we thought we'd get 25, something like that, but this one just has not moved. Um, it does work, um, but we do have read in the title because it had some scratches. Not substantial, I didn't think, but anyway, it just did not move for whatever reason. So we took $9.50 as a clearance price, and it's going to Wilkinsburg, Pennsylvania. Um, I charged $15.50, and in this box, it's going to cost $15.02. And uh, I packed it well. I do double box everything. Yeah, I uh, I had to make a decision about my job. Um, I kind of wanted to be on the night shift, to be honest. Now, sleep-wise, that's horrible for your body, but... You know, time-wise and chill-wise, the night shift is actually just so chill, especially with only 16 patients. Um, let's see, that is 2 pounds, 13 ounces. So I, uh, I really kind of wanted the night shift just like emotionally and mentally. Like you do, you do rush around for some hours, and then there's always that rare night where something happens the entire night. So I kind of wanted to do that, but they really need a day shift person. So it looks like I'm going to day shift, and that's for sleep. And that's, an, I mean, that's good. Like, you know, usually you got to work your way up to get on day shift, but I'm going right in. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll gear up for that. <laughs> so um, 1502 again, I'm probably losing money on the shipping because you get eBay fees on your shipping cost. So by the time the 10 or 12% in this category comes out, um, I'm actually, I didn't charge enough on shipping on this thing, but it's going to Pennsylvania. It could have just as easily gone to Montana or California, and then it would have been like $9 to ship this. So I feel like once, you know, I charged um, as much as I could. I wouldn't have wanted to charge more. So yeah, so that'll be exciting. So um, we're trying to work out my schedule and figure out um, with my husband, you know, um, I easily get up at 4 in the morning. It doesn't phase me. Um, I don't want to get up at 3.30. I have done that for a job where I had to commute, so I was up at 3.30 every day. And honestly, I wasn't tired. You just get used to it. You, your body changes. Um, so I'll probably try to get up at 4 every day, be to work by 5.45 early, you know, put my stuff in my locker, get clocked in, all that good stuff. It's just like... Well, no, actually, it's not up that anyway. It used to be up there. The new building is behind me, pointing the wrong direction. So it's literally a mile up the street, um, you know, so I don't have to leave early for traffic or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, this is a pair of Eddie Bauer shorts. I've had these forever. 4124. Again, we're on the 5600s. I'm glad they're taking it. Uh, they're, they used my 26% off coupon. So it's $8.72 plus shipping, so $12.95. There are very few things in Eddie Bauer I pick up anymore. There are some. The first Ascent jackets, those, uh, actually, I, um, let's see. No, I got a packable jacket. The one that I wanted in the bins had too much damage. That's the one I wanted was the Eddie Bauer first Ascent um, jacket. So if you haven't looked up the first Ascent line, in Eddie Bauer. It is something I will pick up in Eddie Bauer, and especially the packable jackets. Not really so much the shirts. Um, you can do better on those than the normal ones, but yeah, if you see those kind of puffer jackets, but they're just barely puffer, they like fit close to your body, those are so comfortable. My husband loves his. 
Um, his is worn out and he needs a new one, but we don't want to pay 150 bucks. So I keep looking in the bins. Um, and I thought I had found him one the other day, but it was too, uh, too damaged. So anyway, uh, that I don't pick up Eddie Bauer anymore. That's the point of my story. Uh, six fifty is what I charged, and it's going to cost four twenty. And this is going to Tigard, Oregon. So yeah, um, Eddie Bauer. I think I have ten Eddie Bauer items in my store. They have to go. I just have to clear them out. I can't move them very fast. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'll get up at 4 in the morning, be to work. Um, I'll try to have really convenient lunch things and have a locker full of, like, cashews and things like that that just if, you know, if I'm just running behind or whatever, then, um, let me see what the name in this is. Okay, then, uh, then it's not the end of the world. They do have lunch there. I'm sure they have really nice nice meals but i don't want to be eating like pork chops for lunch and stuff that they feed the residents because it's just it'll make me tired i don't want to eat that heavy at lunch so i'm trying to really plan all of that in the next few days let's see where oh, i was gonna say i know there's more orders <laughs> okay one more order than another one came in that's the problem all right, this is a moon time, Moonlight Storytime Projector from The Hungry Caterpillar. It's uh, from Eric Carl's books. Uh, we've had this a long time. Uh, my son thought maybe we could get 20 or 25, but it just, for whatever reason, did not move. Excuse me. So we took $9.75 for it plus shipping, so $21.85, and it sold via promoted listing. And uh, let me see here. Okay, this one is not bubble wrapped, so I can show it to you. So this is what it looks like. There's no real reason for you to see it. It is not a bolo, at least not. Maybe brand new. We have that this is kind of an open, open box, like they never used it, but it still is not sealed. So maybe if you found a sealed one, maybe it would be. But don't buy it otherwise, because it didn't go well for us. <laughs> All right, this is going to Chattanooga, Tennessee. So yeah, and then when I get off at six every night, I'll eat something a lot healthier and more substantial, like an actual taco salad or something with a lot of like, you know, stuff that I just don't have time to eat during the day. So my husband will have that all prepped and hopefully I can help too. I love to cook, but anyway, if not, you know, we'll get it prepped or we will once in a while order downtown and use that as leverage to get our time back. You know, when you look at my salary, it is worth it if we have to eat out more meals every week. I don't want to because I like to eat healthy too, but we have some restaurants with some amazing salads. So either he'll have it ready or I'll have prepped it, hopefully long, you know, best case scenario on my days off, I do some prep work on food and stuff like that. But if not, then the business has to come second, then food prep and all that third, because we are, we really want the money. We want a certain income in our life. So, um, so if not, we have some amazing salads. I'll just have my husband go get those about 5.30, and then by the time I get off work, I'll eat that. Then I'll come down, do my shipping videos every day. He'll have the orders pulled. And then um, usually I, if I'm going to get up at 4 in the morning every day and really be a good nurse, I like to be in bed by 9. I don't always fall asleep. but um, So that will be my schedule on my three days that I have to work. That's the plan. We'll see how it goes. Um, parcel select is 958, but let's see if I can priority to Tennessee is 994, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade them. I charged them 1025, so that's good. And we just had another order come in, so now we've had 10 orders for the day. The minute I start shipping, see, it is an algorithm trigger, um, believe it or not, because, um, It'll be midday sometimes, and I'm doing my shipping, and I haven't had that good of sales all day. And then all of a sudden, it's just like a light switch. So get your shipping done ahead. Like if I had been home um, yesterday, I would have had these already shipped, ready to ship um, last night, just so that I had better sales in the middle of the night. I really have, I, I'm a believer in that. I think it really works. Okay. So, got that one done, and then there's one more. Let me tell you what it is. 
So the one that just came in is a pair of poetry pants that I believe is anthropology. I don't have that in the title, so don't quote me. Maybe poetry is not anthropology. But I've had these since. These are wide leg. They're a black cotton, but they're a nice wide leg. I'll have to go pull these. Um, I've had these since uh, June 9th, so almost a month. So I've had these a while. Um, and I sold them for $19.99 plus shipping, so $31. They were new with tags. I can, I think I just pulled these out of the bins. I don't think I would have. Poetry is good, but I don't think it's 100% sell-through. So I think because of the style, the wide legs, and it was new with tags, I felt like that was two factors that were really good. Kaylee Elaine is very good at talking about the number of factors that make you pick something up. So if you're not familiar with her channel, which I'm sure you are, um, she's a much bigger channel. Uh, anyway, her name is Kaylee Elaine with a C, C-A-Y-L-E-Y, -Y, Elaine, and she is amazing. Um... But anyway, yeah, so I picked these up, $31 total, and they are going to, where are they going? Open, open. These are going to Christchurch, Virginia. My mom is going to Christchurch, um, New Zealand next Friday. Some people, huh? Um, she's going to see my brother, and she's uh, he lives in Australia, so they're going to meet up in um, in uh, um New Zealand, sorry, I can't say my words, with my nephew, so that I'm excited for her, so I'm going to take her to the airport, but anyway, um, $9.95, and it's going to cost $8.30, so I'm going to go pull that. Guys, thanks for joining me on the shipping video today. Uh, if you could help me out by just liking and subscribing, I don't know where I'm at on subscribers, it's not like something I'm obsessed about or pay attention every day, but it will be nice to get that monetization, I'm not going to get rich off that, that is for sure, I don't feel like, you know, I mean, I think you have to have, what, a, <laughs> 10 million followers to make any money, but I'm not doing it for that, but it will be nice just to keep myself doing that just in case, so um, anyway, guys, have a good day, I will be back with a haul video in a little bit, bye-bye.